was called for police interview for a statement to be taken today. I think the news has appeared in tonight's edition of the Chinese press. Because I was alleged to have insulted Islam. They called Jack Wei as somebody who insulted Islam. I don't think they have read what a mainstream journalist, Rocky Brew, has said in his blog. Rocky Brew wrote in his blog saying that whoever who thinks Jeff Wei is anti-Islam, they must be wasting their time. But that is the result of the new regime under Najib Raza. A lot of people are saying things are changing under Najib. But it's just like MTV, when you look at MTV's logo, the more you think it has changed, the more it remains the same. Because it is the same tactic when AMNO is weak, they resorted to racist, racist slur and as well as racism. Socialist youth chief Saudara Anthony Lok was also called for defamation, called for police interview saying that he has uh, insulted Islam, he has also insulted the Sultan. When in actual fact, the police as well as Utusan Malaysia who are very bad in their English do not understand that Anthony Lok did not even write anything in a blog. They say he has insulted the Sultan. That is one new Malaysia for you. But I will say that is one broken, lousy Malaysia under Najib Tun Raza. Tun Raza, Najib, you must remember Najib cannot, we cannot count his honeymoon of 100 days because he became the de facto Prime Minister somewhere around November when Abdullah Badawi knew his days has ended. So we have to start counting Najib's era in Amno, Najib's era in Malaysia, starting from the time he became the Prime Minister in November. And we have to count that he has been with us for 300 days. For the last three, 300 days, what do you think had been the achievement for Najib? We can call that the bloody 300 days. In Chinese, it's, it means Xue Xin Da San Pai Tian. What has been the last 300 days has been bloody because what we saw is that crime rate has gone up by 39% under the leadership of IGP Musa Hassan. Musa Hassan's expiry date is coming near. Musa Hassan's expiry date is the end of this month. The parliament opposition has organized a round table to portray this fact and we wanted Najib not to renew Musa Hassan because during his time crime rate has gone up and Najib was forced to announce he need to reduce crime rate by 20% within the next two years. Down and gone with Musa Hassan, please. Palacio Mansion that is more than 24 million ringgit. And do you know who is this untouchable within Amno? Tell me who he is. MACC cannot touch K Toyo. Is it because he is from Amno? Is it because he is from Java? Or is it because he is somebody from within Amno and they felt that it is something so embarrassing to even mention it? But look, when they wanted to make investigation on opposition leaders, they can come up with all sorts of excuses and platform. And we know up there, you can see for yourself, there is a banner that says, we want justice for Van Hall, and the answers is for the rakyat to know now, performance now, 
answers now and Najib had to give it to us. Najib has to tell us why Bangkok has to die. That is MACC. And what is even more appalling, yes, was a piece of news that came out last night that one of the senior officers of MACC headquarters said that they will stop all the investigations of all polity figures. I don't take it to mean a stop of investigations on DAP or PKR. I would take it as MACC. Right now, they wanted to stop investigation into Ong Ti Kiet and Tiong Keng Seng. MACC in Bahasa Malaysia is SPRM, Suruhan Jaya Pencegahan Rasua Malaysia. I would call because of Teo Beng Hock's death, SPRM means Syarikat Pembunuh Rakyat Malaysia. In MACC, when it was debated in Parliament, Barisan National said our MACC will be tailored like ICAC of, uh, of, uh, of Hong Kong. ICAC, I just returned from Hong Kong, do not have good reputation either. Because ICAC means I can accept cash. I cannot accept check. That is ICAC. But in Malaysia, it's called MACC. With all this opaque ways of investigation, with all this outright abuse of human rights, I would think MACC now stands for something different. MACC to me means the Malaysian Agency for Conspiracy and Cover-Ups. And I hope, and I have high hope, that we will trounce Barisan National in this by-election caused by the demise of our beloved Dato Hamdan. But I would think this is the golden opportunity for us to score just like Arsenal versus uh, who last night? 6-1, right? Last night. Permatampal, satu gol! Kuala Terengganu, dua gol! Ah, ini, this one is what I want to say. Bukit Gandang, tiga gol! Bukit Gandang ada kat sini. Bukit Selambang, empat gol! Mana lagi? Enam gol! Mana lagi? Ah, itulah. Besok kita akan janji, 22 bulan, 25 bulan, Pematang Pasir kita akan kasihkan Barisan Nasional satu gol lagi.